Well, when there's blood on everything, you know you hit the jugular. Ouch. What causes woody tongue is it's just a bacterial infection. You know, a calf will be out there eating something, it'll get a sticker or a cut inside of its mouth, and then that starts a bacteria infection. So that's why you want to hit it with a local antibiotic like oxymycin LA200. Teramycin might work. I don't know. I've, I've always had really good luck with oxymycin. And do that dose heavy. It might say, you know, a calf might need 20 cc's, double it on that woody tongue. I know the vets and stuff are gonna be really mad at me right now for saying that, but do it, trust me, just double the dose of your uh, antibiotic. And then this stuff here too, the sodium iodine solution, this here is 250 mil. This is an older bottle, I just had it, but uh, try to put a whole bottle in those calves too if you can. It takes a bigger needle like this here. Oh shoot, there's some sawdust on that, I'll have to clean that out. But uh, so this needle here is, I don't even know what size gauge that is. It typically comes with this little intravenous tube deal. Uh, this tube, don't forget, you gotta poke a hole in the top of it before you put it and connect it to this sodium iodine. And it's kind of a bear to get that over this. So I would advise getting this ready before you ever get that needle stuck in the vein of that cow. How do you get the vein? You need to go in the jugular. You need to go down on that cow about where the bone starts and push really, really hard against that calf's uh, jugular vein. And as you're pushing there, it, it might take about a minute, but that vein will start pumping, pumping, pumping up. And be ready, because when that vein comes, gets big and pronounced, well, that's when you can attack it with the needle. Let's pretend my finger is the jugular vein sticking out, and it's probably gonna be about that big. You don't wanna come in at a 45, you don't wanna come in at 90. You wanna come in at about a 30 degree angle. And I like to come in from the cow's head, so, so this side would be where the cow's head is, pointing down into the body. That's where I've had the best luck, is because I mean that jugular vein will be kind of at an angle, pointing up at its head, and you wanna come in, I'm serious man, about a 30 degree angle. And you see how that uh, needle has is cut at an angle? You don't wanna try to stick it in there like that. You wanna come in with the angle towards the outside, if that makes any sense. Um, yeah, and then once you get that, blood will start squirting out of there. Darn sure, have your bottle ready. Go ahead and bleed it out so you don't have any air coming down. I always pinch it right here, let a little squirt out, and then as it's squirting out, make that connection where the blood's squirting and the sodium iodine squirting all at the same time. Do not let any air get in there, you'll kill that cow. Uh, one last little tip, when you're done using these things, put them in a mason jar or something. If you just put it back in that plastic container, the tip, this will get dry, brittle, after a couple months after using that sodium iodine, and it won't be any good anymore. But if you do, just keep it in a container like this, seal it up, it'll last years. But uh, yeah, so that's what I do. Uh, sodium iodine, LA200, oxy, any oxymycin. <laughs> it's, and again, this, this might look kind of rough out here. It's, we got a storm coming. It's a holiday. I don't have any access. All, all the stores are closed. My sodium iodine, I would like to put a full bottle in it. All I got is a half bottle. But we're going to use what we can use and get this calf taken care of. It's gonna look rough. You'll probably hear it breathing really hard, but that's because the woody tongue is starting to crush down on its esophagus a little bit. And when you see this, get on it really fast because if you don't, that swelled up tissue will turn fibrous and then that calf, it, it will never be able to come back. It'll always have that big old huge nastiness down there. So sodium iodine, LA200, uh, get on it right away. If you see that thing starting to swell up right down here between the two jaw bones. And I've got a chute right here. I could put it in the squeeze chute. However, I need to get to the jugular vein in order to administer some of this stuff. So it would work, but for this size calf, it's actually a lot easier to just rope them time down because I need access a little bit lower. I might have to put them in the chute. I don't know, we'll see. This might get interesting.
always carry the belt. That may have looked rough, but I guarantee it's easier than trying to put him into the squeeze chute. So he's tied up. He's tied up pretty good now. Or she is, whatever this thing is. First thing I'm going to do is give it a shot of oxymycin. Just a local antibiotic. Nothing too special. Now the next part, this part's kind of tricky. You can see, so this is his right side, or her right side actually. And the jugular is actually way down here. It can be tricky. Oh, come on, bud. Get this thing off here. There you go. Just like that. Now, like, keep them held down. It's like this. And what we're doing here now is we're looking for the jugular. So here's this calf here, his throat's here, he's got it swelled up, uh, chin, or I call it a woody tongue. His jugular's gonna be about here. Now to get that thing to start sticking out, you're gonna have to apply some pressure. The, the spot you wanna keep your pressure is actually down about here. You gotta give a little bit, it might take a minute, but pretty soon it'll start popping out. I can feel his heartbeat down here. See, I'm almost between his front legs, and this is why I didn't do it in the chute. See, his chin is awful swelled up. This is definitely a woody tongue. You insert that needle, should be able to hit that vein. Somewhere in here. There we go. Got it. Now, well, that's kind of has some blood coming out. Definitely want to try to not let any air in this line. If you can get away with it. See, I got blood on my fingers right now. So I know that's in there. And just let her bleed down. Just let her fill out there. The higher you hold it, obviously you put a little more pressure in it. You gotta have a way for air to get in that bottle though. Yeah, it's going good. Yeah, that's going in there good now. Gotta keep a close eye on this. You might have to come back in a few days. Do it again. There we go. And that is that. Get my gloves real fast. Okay. Oh, you did good, bud. Oh, you did good. Sorry. He's feeling, he's pretty peppy still. I just gotta run over there and take this uh, belt off of him real fast. Off the back foot. He kicked it off the other foot. That's all right, we'll get it off you real quick. See if I can't catch you real fast here. You're doing this always with the front leg. Well, if you can, because they can kick you still. Give me that tail. Watch that leg. That back leg can kick you good. Always. Always butt your leg up against these back legs because they can be deadly pretty easily. There you go. I always, always have a slip knot rope on there. I can tie them up a little bit. Just like that. And then. I got a little excited and bent my, <laughs> my buckle. I couldn't access that jugular vein like I needed to in a chute. No way, there she goes. We'll come and check on her tomorrow. She's got lots of feed and water. She should be, should be fine as far as those needs are met. But the main thing is that underneath the tongue, oh, she's got something starting to swell up, whether it's a, oh, a, a burr, like a, a sticker or something maybe got in there. Hard telling. Go, baby, go. Eat lots of hay. Get really fat so I can sell you someday. <laughs>